yes people what's good and welcome back to the channel so today guys i just want to revisit potassium or dosing potassium into your system and a couple of benefits of doing that now i think a lot of us in the hobby yeah we focus on the main three we focus on you know alkalinity calcium magnesium sometimes potassium does get overlooked and i think there's a lot of benefits to dose potassium in your system now let's get the technical boring stuff out of the way so potassium is found in the same or about the same ratio as calcium is found within the ocean so if the ocean is like 420 ppm potassium is going to be about 400 so if you are dosing or you start to test your potassium just try and keep it around 400 to uh lowest maybe about 350 within that range just to see how you get on now it's very important that you test to see where it is first before you start dosing this thing because if you overdose potassium you would know immediately the corals will probably not start looking that great you will get um, a nuisance algae growing on there because don't forget bacteria algae all sorts of you know microscopic life will utilize potassium to grow because essentially it is like a fertilizer now other than blue coloration and um, other closely linked colors in SPS corals potassium provides um, skeletal benefits as well so if you imagine you have an underwater garden essentially that's what we have we have a marine underwater garden where we keep these corals corals those corals are animals yeah and every organism on planet earth will utilize potassium in some way even our fish in our system use potassium to help with uh, metabolic um, function um, even the way their, their nervous system works they will utilize potassium to you know to keep themselves ticking along us as human beings use potassium potentially for energy as well so it's very important that we provide the right stuff to our corals now potassium in my opinion is something that every hobbyist or every hobbyist that keep sps corals should look into should start testing to ensure that they keep the potassium levels where they need to be now you can do like your water changes and that should help with your potassium but if you are running a low nutrient system yeah like me you will find that potassium depletes much quicker so it's very important that you test see where it is yeah and if you can start or you feel comfortable start dosing potassium into your system okay so you have tested your potassium and realized that you are below the recommended amount for your tank now you can test two ways you can um send an icp test out that will come back in a couple of days, even a couple of weeks, and it'll tell you exactly how much um, potassium you should be dosing to your system and over the period of time. Now, I will always say to people, if you are dosing potassium into your system or anything into your system, whatever the recommended amount, yeah, start with half and then test. Because what you could do is you could potentially overdose and not know that you're overdosing. So just take it slow, yeah. If they say to you it's two drops over two days, you start with one drop, yeah, give it some time, maybe a day, test to see where potassium sits, and then do the following drop and then test again. Right? And just keep on doing that until you're comfortable and you know how much potassium you need to dose into your system daily. Right? And the second way you can check to see if your potassium is low is just use a home test kit. Now ensure that your test kits are in date because you don't want to have a test and it's you know it's wrong and you start freaking out. But ensure your test kit's in date. Um, before you test for your potassium yeah guys so just a simple one yeah potassium make sure you guys look into this, especially the sps heads out there look out for potassium it's a very important element or trace element or macro element that you know i think people really overlook in this hobby and it goes really well for skeletal growth and certain colors within corals guys yeah right so guys don't forget to like share subscribe i'll see you next time